What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge called Subdomain Visit Count. So a website domain like discussleadcode.com consists of various subdomains. The top one we have .com, the next level we have leadcode.com, the lowest level is discuss.leadcode.com. So what they're talking about is every time you have a dot, top level you have discuss.leadcode.com. So you have every time you have a dot you have a, have one, a visit of one domain there's a parent domain and then the subset domain so like discuss.leadcode.com since there's a, a dot here after discuss the first one is the first uh, domain then we have leadcode.com as a, another domain and then we have com as a last domain okay so that's what they're saying here now we call a count pair domain to be a count representing the number of visits the domain received followed by a space followed by the address. So an example of count pair domain might be 9001 discuss.leadcode.com. So you're given a, this is basically saying the count the number of visits this domain received. So 9001 be the number of visits the domain discuss.leadcode.com received. Okay. Uh, yeah. But it's also including the subdomains also, so like leadcode.com and then com itself. Okay, so that's why in this case, 9001 discuss.leadcode.com, the output, they have 9001 distributed across the first the main domain, then at each individual subdomain like leadcode.com and then com. Okay, so that's 9000 discuss.leadcode.com. 9000leadcode.com, 9000com. So we only have one website domain, discuss.leadcode.com, as discussed above, but the subdomains are also visited, so they all have they all have each visited 9001 times, okay? So essentially we're just counting, we're going to distribute the count to each of the domains, okay? To do google.mail.com, mail.com, and com and then we're going to do that to distribute 50 to yahoo.com and then com distribute one to intel.mail.com mail.com and then com and then distribute five to winky or uh, winky.org and then org okay so that's why this output the reason why it has this is because they distributed the number to each of the domains and then when they distribute they're also adding the, the count to it so because 900 was distributed to com as well it's 900 plus 50 which was distributed to com so 950 plus 1 which is distributed to com also so that's why it's 951 com over in this case okay so that's the reason why some of these were added so the domains that were added had uh, visited them again the number was added onto it so I'm gonna explain my solution on how I got this solution so what I did was I mapped every every domain to the number of occurrences that w that showed up to each domain okay so I mapped the string and the number of occurrences for the, for each domain for each pair so we're given the remember we're given a a list of strings and the list of strings are in this case the list of strings is nine nine uh nine hundred google dot mail dot com fifty yahoo dot com in each of these strings we have a number representing the number of times this domain has been visited right a space and then the rest of the main domain okay. So that, that that's just what each string represents for this list of strings that we're given. So what I did was I went through every single domain in this list of domains. Okay, so this it's going to go through every single value at like 900 google.mail.com, 50 yahoo.com, 1 intel.mail.com, 5 wiki.org. So it's going to go through every single value in, in these input array. So I create a variable just to store each value, each value for each domain and each value of the array. 
So what I did was I found, first found the string of a space, the position of the space, okay? So I did each val dot find space. Reason why? Because I need to find this space, the space of each, each uh, every time there's a space, we know that there was a number before it, and we know that there's a domain after it, okay? So then, then I could separate the number and the rest of the domain, actual domain name. So here, that's what I did here. So I substring, this substring basically goes from the space, the position of the space that I found using that find. And I'm going to subtract by the starting position, which is zero, and then adding one, because that's where you, how you're supposed to do it. Because we're not including the space, by the way, we're substringing. And uh, I'm starting from position zero. So this is the length that, it, uh, that we are substringing from zero. So in that case, uh, in this case, zero, one, two, three, it would do three minus zero plus one, so four. So we're gonna substring four positions from position zero. So it does that, okay? So that's the number. Once I get the number, I'm gonna estoy it, right? After I substring from each, uh, substring from zero to the space position, right? I'm gonna estoy it and this converts it to a number, to an integer number, okay? Then I get the rest of the value string rest this is substringing from the space and onward so that gets you the rest of the dom domain path for every other value so like google.mail.com yahoo.com intel.mail.com stuff like that yeah intel.mail.com wiki.org so that's what this the rest of the, the rest each value does okay then what i'm going to do is that every time we see a dot I'm gonna find a dot, okay? So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna find a dot. Reason why I'm gonna find a dot is that for every time we see a dot, that means we're at a subdomain, okay? So that means that we're gonna add, add the, we're gonna add the number of occurrences of number to that subdomain, to rest, to rest of the value. So rest is the rest of the, the is the domain name, okay? In my case, I should put a uh, domain name, but rest is the rest of the values for the domain name here, like google.mail.com. So what this does is it finds the, the period, so it's gonna find this period, this period, okay? So while this period is not, uh, the position of this period is not equal to the end of the string, that's what this is doing, this end of the, essentially I'm going to add all the occurrences of what I already stored in the map at the domain add, a, add up the number that's what I'm doing okay so what this is doing is it's gonna say okay in my map google.mail.com is going to have the number of occurrences is gonna be 900 for google.mail.com okay and I'm gonna store that in my map okay once I find the next dot it's gonna be this dot right I substring from the rest of the dot, so mail.com. Okay, so in this case, well, let's go back to the pr previous position what I was doing. So right after I got google.mail.com, right, google.mail.com, I get, I increased my occurrence plus occurrences. So my occurrence was a current, my current, right, was the, the position of the dot. I increase that so now it's going to be the position of m that's what this is doing and then i'm going to substring from m so that's going to take get rid of all the val uh all the values from here google dot google dot it's going to get rid of this so then that means my the my rest of my string is going to be mail.com then i set current to find the next dot after that okay so since uh, my current is going to point to this dot after that, but my rest, which is my string that I'm setting for each domain is going to be mail.com. Okay. Then I'm going to add data at rest plus equal number. So that's going to distribute 900 to mail.com. And then I substring from the dot of this dot, which is going to get me everything after the dot. If I substring this, 
plus plus current and that's going to get me com right that's going to get me com then after that i'm going to add nine uh after that uh it's going to try to find the next dot which is going to be the end of the string but before it does that i'm going to add data at rest plus equal to number uh, oh yeah yeah actually because current equals to rest dot find it's going to finish this dot because it's going to be the end of the end of the string it can't find any more dots okay that's what this is doing because it can't find any more dots it's going to be done and then before I end it I add the last data at rest which is the dot com plus equals to whatever my I sh uh, to whatever my number was before so then my number of occurrences, 900, is going to get added to the occurrences of dot com, of com, in my map. And I'm doing that for all these values. 900 google.mail.com, 50 yahoo.com, 1 intel.mail.com, 5 wiki.org. And that's what this loop is doing. And after this loop is finished, I'm going to have the number of occurrences for each val value distributed over each domain and subdomain after each dot. So after that I have a vector called to return. To return I'm going to basically just uh, go through every occurrences and just concatenate the number of occurrences for that whatever it was to my element of my map and that's what I do here. So 900, 901 is, and mail.com that's just like storing the uh, that's just saying the output 901 space mail.com mail.com is the every time for for the strings for all the subdomains and the domains so I'm in this this string is basically just concatenating the number of occurrences to its subdomain or domain name and then I add that to my array that I'm returning then I ret and then after this for every value in my map the, the occurrences that occurred in my map once that's done, I'm going to return my array to return. And that's basically how you would do it. The solution is basically the same, hash map. And that they did they did what I did, essentially. They used the hash map. And yeah, that that's that's exactly what I did. So yeah, that's my solution. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys like this video. Check it out.